Welcome to this tutorial on how to create a pivot chart. A pivot chart is a graph or chart that is created directly from a pivot table. I'm using a previously created pivot table of student grades. If you don't know how to create this table, please view my video on how to create a pivot table. The link is in the description box below this video. To create a pivot chart, select any cell in the pivot table, and we have this cell selected. And then click on the Insert tab. So let's go up here and click on the Insert tab. And then click the Pivot Chart command. Here we have Pivot Chart. And that's under the Charts grouping where we have Pivot Chart. So click on the Pivot Chart command. Here you can see an Insert Chart dialog box popping up and that's where you select the choice you want. Clustered column is highlighted as a default choice and you can see when we mouse over that that it displays the columns by major and full-time status which were our rows and columns in the pivot table. So it takes the data the way it's displayed in the pivot table and uses those same headings for a pivot chart. Here on the side you can see all the choices we have but, and it looks like there are a lot of choices, but in reality you can't create all of these choices. It depends on what the data looks like. So for example, if I click on histogram, it's going to tell me you can't create this chart type with the data inside the pivot table. It has to be a different type of data. So a histogram uses continuous data, quantitative continuous data, and that's not what we have here. We have categorical data. So with categorical data, we have to stick with either a column chart, we can have a line chart, we can have a pie chart, okay? We can have a bar chart, and again, if you mouse inside of the chart, you can see what it might look like. I don't know, do you like that? If you want that, then click OK, and that's the chart you would get. In another video, I'll show you how to use the charting tools. We have charting tools over here. Uh, these are charting elements to add or remove different elements on the chart. And we can also use the drawing tools to change the style and color of the chart. So we can edit the axes. We can edit the way the data is displayed. So we have tools that will allow us to edit this chart so that it looks the way we want it to and I will cover that in a future video. Okay, so you could see from this tutorial how to use pivot charts. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you learned something.